Oh, wait a minute. It's not what it seems like. I was just taking a little break. I'm actually working, I promise. Alright, so now I'm awake. You guys caught me taking a little bitty nap, a little bit exhausted, but I'm here now and I'm about to get some work done. First, please make sure you go down, like, subscribe, hit the bell, get our notifications for whenever we release a new video like we just did. Well, if you haven't checked out Chris's previous video, you'll be able to hit that right at the top and it'll take you back to his, but hopefully you already checked it out, you liked his and brought you here with me now. Finally, 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 we're getting some work done. But let me explain our disappearance for a minute. Work, life, work. That's the way things happen. Sometimes you try to control it. Things kind of spiral out of control. You got to get get everything, you know, back together like that. And um, it's unfortunate, but the projects usually get pushed to the back burner. That's just the way it is because all they do is take money. Well, they bring happiness too, but for the most part, they take money first. <laughs> so they get pushed to the back burner and we take care of everything else first. So in our schedules, being truck drivers, Chris and I, we work long hours, whether it's getting up early or getting off late, everything in between, we, we work long hours. So like I said, once we finally get to the projects, we can, and then trying to film on top of that. So, but enough excuses because excuses really get us nowhere just doing just jumping right in and doing it so that's what we're about here at switching lanes it's just grabbing a bull by the horns and riding it into the sunset i don't, I don't think i want to ride a bull but it sounded good so let's just stick with that <laughs> so let's go over everything i have okay first we're going to be going to the rear brakes of the, the merc here the 300 ce we're going to try to get the brakes done the rear brakes just pads and rotors now because they're making a loud noise and kind of need the brakes to stop so we can um go over everything i have just simple simple stuff to hopefully try to get the brakes done i just have my simple two tool sets that's it i know this looks staged you know it almost looked like i'm selling illegal tools and car parts out the back of this jeep back to where we are at so we're, like i said we're going to start off simple and that's just with our simple brake pads i think we picked these up from i believe it was o'reilly's oh 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 o'reilly's that 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 place um i believe these pads the rear pads i believe they're around 30 bucks or under somewhere around there i believe i got the the lifetime warranty on them although i'll never wear them. well i'll never say never so we got the lifetime warranty the rotors we actually got from Advanced Auto Parts. They were a little bit cheaper. So I ended up ordering them from Advanced. So total, I think for both rotors, and they charge you shipping to, to, to the store, which is kind of weird. They charge you from the warehouse to the store and they still charge shipping, which was only 10 bucks, but it's still, I should have just shipped them to the house. But so the round, the total, was like 113 would have been 103 but 113 for both rotors but like i said you have to order them so you have to pay a bit of a premium now i know some guys may go straight to ebay i like ebay but i like to actually touch the parts first with when you order certain things online you don't know until you get it in your hand and it's not the right part at least with brakes and things like that because they have a warranty on them if they rust or they wear i could just pop them off run them right up to the auto parts come right back home slap them on i don't have to send them out in the mail or anything like that so that's just how i like to do it with certain things but some things you just can't get on um at you know locally so you go to the interwebs and ebay is usually the first place we go for that because a lot of guys all over the world are selling parts for these cars so um so yeah brake pass rotors so that right there uh roughly what did i say around 30 bucks blah, 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 blah. let's just say 150. it's a little bit less but let's just say 150 bucks just to do the rear uh brakes for the 300. kind of pricey but that's the price you pay it's gonna 
put the switching tips inside uh, my normal video. So I'll show you why we use this wire brush when we're doing breaks. Now, I do have the battery that's in the house on charge, but uh, it really comes in handy. Uh, Harbor Freight, uh, six, seven, eight pack or something like that for a few bucks. You know, they're, they're not, they're cheap. I mean, you get what you pay for, but uh, it does the job. I've used it a bunch of times. That's why you see it's worn down and I still have it. So I'll show you why this is going to come in handy. Now here we have a box from Mercedes source. Now Mercedes source is a place that if you can see that, that Chris and I stumbled across on YouTube. And it's a guy named Kent, really nice guy. Well, he appears to be a really nice guy. And um, he specializes in W124s, W123s, different Mercedes chassis. So I uh, actually went on there and ordered, I believe this is my second or third order from him. And I've actually had this one. So I'm gonna open it up with you guys. Let's see what we have. I guess you can call this some something like an unboxing or something. Now, first we have plenty of shipping peanuts. It's one thing about Kent. He um when he ships his packages, he ships out a pair of rubber gloves, which is pretty cool, and they're actually large gloves for me because I got these big paws. So. I never told him my glove size, so I wonder the guys and girls with little hands if y'all getting these big old gloves. <laughs> All right, let's take that off. All right, so let's see what we have here. Oh, some goodies. All right, so we have our brake sensors for the front, and we also have brake paste. Now, the brake paste, some guys use it, some guys don't. I heard is for these vehicles, it's probably best to use it. So we'll show you why we use sensors is um, back on that going to get coffee when I was driving and I said the light was on on the dashboard. This is why the sensors wear down. Well, the pads wear down and then it rubs on the sensor and then it lets you know that um, you're, you need to change your brakes if you want to stop, which I think we all want to stop. Or do we want to go here we have the transmission modulator same thing i talked about in the previous video we finally got it now this is going to be fun putting on because it's on the side of the trans and then you have to adjust it and all of that good stuff so that's going to come at a later date but we are going to need it so we can get the car shifting right and here we have the front brake pads which are full ceramic just to keep down the brake dust and the rust to go with the um we actually have front rotors too that we ordered but uh yeah yeah that's nice i believe these were ah man don't uh, i don't want to get the price wrong let's just say they were under 60 bucks for the <laughs> original equipment or original performance brakes yeah they're actually pretty nice here yeah, it looks pretty good. And like I said, they're ceramic, so when we put rims on a car, we shouldn't have to worry about the brake dust too much. Because a lot of the rims I'm looking at, they're probably gonna hide the calipers in any way, so I may not paint the calipers, or I may, I don't, it depends. I may change my mind. That's one thing about projects, you always change your mind. It never goes the way you first plan a, a project, never. So the tools that we're going to use is just a simple, probably a hammer. Yeah, well, probably a hammer, a punch, which, you know what? I don't have a punch. Uh, I thought I did, but I don't. So I'm going to have to go and get some punches, but I'm going to try to use what I have and see if I can get the pins out of the ro uh, calipers with that. If I can't, then I got to go get punches. It's no big deal. They, they come in handy for plenty of things. They're metal punches. So, um, and then, because we're um, taking the caliper off, so you need a uh, 17 millimeter. No, no, it's not 17 millimeter. 
maybe it's a 15 millimeter that holds the caliper on but you will get to all of that good stuff but it's two bolts on the back of the caliper and it holds it on and we have to take the caliper off first the pads the caliper and then we'll knock the rotor off and you know, clean everything up and get our new stuff installed water keep water when it's warm and you're working out let me tell you why yep yep i keep water to replenish my tear ducts because working on these old cars with rust you bang your knuckles you get scrapes and i cry a lot that's that's just what happens but that's just me don't don't judge me don't judge me gloves some guys think oh i'm a man's man i don't wear gloves well just in case this youtube thing and the truck driving doesn't work out i plan to be a hand model so i need to take care of my hands so we just got a pair of cheap work gloves they do the job and i know you're laughing about that whole hand model thing and it's true last but not least and the most important blinker fluid blinker fluid you know what let me let's get a little closer so you can see yep yep you see that yep i don't know this has helped me through plenty of projects and things of that nature i don't know where i'd be it comes in handy for everything actually because that idea comes from i don't know if you ever seen the movie um my big fat greek wedding when her dad was like you put windex on everything that's kind of what blinker fluid is in the car world it works for everything trust me i used to be a doctor But, all right, so that's a walkthrough of, of everything we need. Like I said, just a simple tool set. We only need a few tools out of there for the job we're doing. So um, that's it, man. I'm going to close up the Jeep here, slide to the Merc, and uh, we're going to get busy and see what we can get done today. All right, guys. So here's the fun part or the boring part, depending on who you are and depending on how you look at things. So, first, because of how Mercedes did their calipers and their brake pads and everything, there's two pins, one right here, one right there. And we have to pop these pins out, take off this clip, and then the brake pads that come out, which is actually a very simple way to, re to if we were just doing the brake pads, but we're not, we're doing the actual um, rotor also. So we have to remove the caliper, which are two bolts behind here. You can see, well, you can't see the bolts, but they're behind there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, eh, I got this nifty little pick here. And uh, actually it's gonna come in handy to hopefully pop those pins right out, get that clip off, and then we get the brake pads out. Now, I think you can go either way with the pin. YouTube so I'll be honest I decided not to film some of what I was doing because a lot of profanity was being used because things happened and let me show you what happened so what happened here is this is the caliper and these two pins that I pointed out earlier I believe they seized inside the calipers so the only way to get these out I'm going to have to run up the to, uh, to some parts store and grab a, a proper um, punch metal punch to get these out if that doesn't work then we'll try to drill them out uh, if that doesn't work then we'll use the neighbors uh, air hammer or something like the air chisel to get them out 
without damaging the caliper. I do not want to replace the caliper if I don't have to. So that's what we're going to avoid. With the rotors, I'm gonna have to spray some um, penetrating oil around here. Get that off, because these don't want to come off easy neither. So that's the problem we ran into. I had to actually, I had to pull the caliper off just to get a better look at it. And I'm probably gonna have to do it and take it downstairs and put it on a bench and punch them out that way. But as you can see, that started to flatten up like that and that that's not supposed to happen. So already we're gonna have to replace the pins. So what that does is because we're probably gonna have to order them, that already sets us back, you know, until we get the actual part. So fun, 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 fun. Look at that. So, never mind the rust. It's an old car. We get that all cleaned up. It's not going to be a show car. It is going to be a driver. But there's no rot. There's just rust because I believe the car was sitting for a while. So, probably was sitting on grass or something like that. But that puts this video to a stop today because, like I said, even when I get those pins out, I can't reuse them until I get new ones so I'm stuck there's nothing else for me to do right now so I can't even move to the front because we you know don't want to have the car up like this so let's just solve one problem at a time and that's our first problem and I already tried on the passenger side and it was the same way so let me show you Here we are to the passenger side. So you yeah, already tried and yeah, those are frozen also. So before I went any further, I may as well go and get the proper punch for it. I don't know if it's web just from sitting here a week. Uh, I may as well go and get the proper punch, then try these and then go from there. So that's gonna close out today's video. Like I said, I'm sorry. I didn't give you a whole lot because it just wasn't a whole lot for me to give you. And like I said, it was a lot of profanity going on. <laughs> I was here, smashing my fingers with the hammer, uh, bending screws and different things that I was trying to use to punch out the uh, pin. So it was just a lot going on, but I promise once I uh, get the proper punches and try it again, I'll film it, but you didn't miss much. <laughs> That's it. I can't actually replace anything until I order the pins and I'm gonna go in the house and get on the computer and try to get those. And uh, till next time, it's TJ signing out, man. Over to you, Chris. Mm -hmm.